We have the migrant program, where it's, uh, it is a federally funded program, and they help them out quite a bit in the sense that um, they get free lunches at school, they may get some medical assistance, a vis vision assistance, or even dental. Um, it just depends on every district. Every district has a different um, funds, I guess, that they have, depending on how many migrant families are in their district. I work very closely with Region 16 to try to um, interview the parents, uh, interview the families, see who are eligible for this. Once they become el eligible, it becomes the date that they moved here, and it's good for three years. If they've moved, then they have to qualify elsewhere. What I do is I, I'll interview them as to what exactly they do, and I can offer them um, transportation if they need to go to the doctor, they need shots for the kids, and basically our main goal is to make sure that our children are getting an education. A lot of the people that come don't have an education, they may not be able to read or write, so our sole purpose is to educate the children. Our children are um, from newborn up to 22 years old. Once they turn 22, they're on their own if they have not graduated. So I help them in any way that I can, refer them to either the Nazarene Ministry for clothing, food pantry, whatever they have, the well for, for medical assistance. Um, I also can take them to Dumas. We have an ESL class and they have ESL classes here as well. We want to empower our people, the people that are coming, to be able to, to support themselves, to get better jobs. Um, I know the majority of them want to teach their children to have a better life. In school we say it takes a village to raise a child. I really believe that in this case it takes a community to make our community better. I believe in the migrant program. I believe in what the uh, Nazarene Ministries are doing. They, it's, a, it's an amazing job because we have partnered to help each individual. Everybody deserves that chance.